Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a Cinder. What is this? A Cinder 12 run here, using. So the way that I was trying to do this to be optimal was I was gonna pick someone, then go to death after I beat death. Uh, pick someone, go to death after I beat death. Blah 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 like that. But I think they changed it again with the updates where it's just after I beat death, it ch changes when you defeat death. So, I think I just had to do a whole bunch of doppelganger runs, which is no problem to do, to get this achievement. However, what I was trying to do with Cinders was, I was trying to do like a regular, and just scale up to the uh, classes I was better with, um, if that makes sense. So, I started out, for some reason, with Cleric, or I started out with Sorcerer, for some reason, which I don't know why. Sorcerer is a pretty good character for me. Um... But I know that I did Gunslinger, and I really like Pyromancer, however, uh, I don't think I can do a Cinder 12 with Pyromancer. I'm saving the Ranger for last, because I think I might be the best with him, uh, with that Ranger cloak and whatnot. So let's try to, um, we will try a Pyromancer, if we fail with this, we'll try a Knight, if we fail with Knight, we'll go to Sorcerer, and if we fail with Sorcerer, we'll just use Ranger for the last two. But just to keep it interesting and whatnot. Mm. Okay, so chest or gold? Um, I kind of want some gold. Uh, do I? No, give me a chest. Intelligence really good and we got bombs from the oh my god that's not a good start our health is so important do the rooms feel smaller did I actually just like come up with that or did I just forget that that was a thing it might have just been me forgetting that's huge actually that is huge what the fuck is that? Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I forgot we get negatives with this. You only get two traits offered in future trait selections. That's ass. When you successfully dodge, you are slowed by 15% for four seconds. That's... That's tough, too. The damage of your weapon is reduced by 0.1% on kill. Oh my god, fuck me, man. I think if I took Survivor's Bias, I had to dodge a lot. I could just get movement speed later on, but bro. Bro, 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 that hurts. If I can just do a lot of damage, I won't have to worry about it, right? Still, my heart is blazing. The damage one was okay, actually. But, brother. Yeah, Pyromancer has some good damage in the beginning. You get inflicted with poison. Ain't no fucking way I'm getting inflicted with the poison, man. A... Weapon is good. Boots are also good. I'm gonna go with boots. Our starting weapon isn't the worst, and we got these fucking minions again. Bro, the minions are actually the worst thing. Why do they respawn? Oh my god. They still respawn. I was praying that he changed it or something. I don't need a new world order, you. I hope that he did not put an Oktoberfest. And we take double damage. Bro, this is gonna be hard as fuck, man. I don't need a new world order, you. 
Okay, gold chest. I'm actually want the gold chest here. Chakrams E scaling. If we can, we want to try and get something that's uh. That has fire on it. That's a mage weapon. That would be one of the best things we could get. Laser gun. Toxic scepter, which I don't like. Battle axe, which I don't like. Toxic scepter is good for clearing out rooms, though. I want intelligence, because I don't think that we've picked up any uh, good intelligence yet. So, when we do get a level... Should be pretty nice. Is that a fucking meteor? Arcade is good. Oh no, we should. We definitely should have went to the arcade. We could have gotten a key for lucky enough, and I think we did. I have no problem spending like all my money on that too. Uh, we'll hold on to this. I forgot that we also have a. Uh, only like six slots on us so getting rid of something in our inventory probably would have been a good play we got a lot of movement speed there with this peg leg I might upgrade this weapon here too five percent increased enemy health Minus 10 damage to bosses. Oh uh, no, this means it's to the robots. I should have just taken the boss damage. I'm still not too good at dodging death, if I'm being honest. An accessory is nice. But we have to focus the robots first. And you have a poison. It's just. It is so cursed. And robots again. Bro, the double robot is fucking awful. That's one robot down. Two robots down. It's like you could just uh, keep on going and uh, just trying to focus on DPSing the boss, but I'm not comfortable with that unless I have really good DPS. And then we take double... Bro, this guy really did crank up the difficulty on this. Fucking hell. Yeah, these cinder challenges are ludicrous. We gotta avoid the beef just because... What? Is that a fucking AC-130? Bro, this <laughs> cursed room, that's fine, because I'm not trying to go there anyway. They need that. For cinders, though, I think that they should really get the, uh, get the boss souls room out the way. I think that'd be pretty good, too. It's just, like, hammer enchanted. Okay, I kind of want to reroll this. Intelligence. We still need a level on us. Danger zone. I don't know what that means. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna go for the Mage Sash. If we can get like a really good weapon with it, I think it'll be perfect for us. And the small little AoEs this thing does is pretty good too. Like if I'm being honest, I wanna stack like health and damage and but it's like obviously what else am I gonna go with it? Vile Thorn is pretty bad. Dun, dun, dun. If we equip this, yeah. Honestly, I'm just gonna buff up my uh, my default fire hand. I can't even read battery something. I don't even have like time to read what it was. Uh, I'm going for a mage stash again here. I know a level is super important for us, but I still want to, if I can like solidify a really good weapon, I can start uh, from bonus mana, but we lose out on movement speed. Oh yeah, we lose out on a good bit of movement speed. The amount of debuffs this game throws at you too on these higher cinders is fucking crazy. Like, every single time I'm going to another floor, I'm getting a debuff. Gold, I'll absolutely take that gold one. Keen Mine is really good. A Helmet, absolutely. After we get rid of these robots. One thing, if I had to design games like this too, I'd always be afraid to like put in new stuff at the fear that I'd make something like unblockable. Oh, uh, this is not good. Oh my god, man. Increased poison dot damage. Fuck, I thought... It, did they change this to where it's only poison dot damage? I thought it was just any dot damage. But that can go well with the scepter staff. But we'd be losing out on uh, others with it too. I need candy here. Damn, it didn't level me up. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, now this is terrible. Imagine you get this room with the fucking, uh, the guys towards the end. What is this one? This is the next room, and this is for the armory one. Oh, we are definitely re-rolling this. And we just got shit on. I guess the toad, the toad one isn't that bad, but let's try to start swapping out here, unfortunately. Oh, actually, wait, no, this is fine. Because um, Pyromancer, like, everything does fire damage, right? So we'd have uh, double dot damage in here. We can sell weapons here, which is nice. 
Uh, chakrams. Uh, I kind of want to keep that. Uh, Vile Thorn. And do I want to sell the Scepter? I think that I do, actually. It gave me nothing for it, but... Come on. Give me as much stuff as you can. Fuck. What the fuck are you guys? Is that a black hole? Uh. We just want to make sure the time hour rolls and perfect fashion. Um, yeah, this just damage over time, which is really good. Uh, let's see if we can get another weapon here, though. And it's fucking Oktoberfest. Okay, it looks like they calmed it down a little bit. Fucking Oktoberfest, man. Lordy. There's so much stuff to look out for, man. There's so much stuff to look out for. A ruby wand has S on scaling, but we'd lose out on dot. If we can get that, uh, like that S one, that S magic weapon that does like the poison and toxin or something on it, we'd be set. And then we'll just try and stack up on as much health as we possibly can. But I'm thinking we might need to start going health here or uh, strength here just because we can start getting some health with it, which wouldn't be a bad play. Oh yeah, I, I like quick cast. Um, the tavern's not gonna give me too much, but we can reroll, and the lady's not here, unfortunately. Damn. Oh my god, I bet you... Whoa. What was this one again? Okay, I was gonna say, if it's the guy that gives you, like, random buffs, the permanent buffs and all your items, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Uh... We can't go in that shop, but we don't have any money anyway. Sell weapons. We could sell a weapon. This gives us a random potion, which is temporary. So I think we'll go in here and sell this ruby wand. And then we'll sell this, because ours is just better. And I, I'll hold on to the tote thing, but I'm not too crazy about it.
Minus one bomb found. Is that something like you do less damage when you're not in this perimeter? I had no time to read it, so that's why I just assume. Oh my god, Prism Enchantment with robots here too, man? Bro, this game is smoking crack. Bro, that movement speed after that dodge is crazy too. 25 base melee damage is pretty good. I don't think that we have anything that, uh, well, I guess the dreamer thing. Um, gold or dexterity. I kind of want a bit more levels here. Kill this shark instantly. Fucking tiki totem. We'll buy this. Uh, movement speed. We'll buy this too. Beetle wand. Always a fan of beetle wand. This inflicts poison and bleed, and we'd get fire with it too. This is a potentially good item, but. Do I re-roll this? I think we just hold on to it. This this can be a pretty good item when it starts stacking up here. Like if we just send these things out. We'd have like all this dot damage in the world here. Damn. Actually. At least we'll get something useful with it. Okay, what was this one? This is a, lo a lot of money here. That is a lot, a lot of money. Poseidon on this one. Do we still... We do have a helmet. Uh, let's see if we can get a better helmet, actually. That was a bad dodge. Oh my. Oh my. Ooh, the critical hit one. 
I think that we'll actually put this one on here. That way we can just say uh, screw the dot. That's a 30% increase though, but this one scales better. Oh my. Um, but 25% less attack speed. I think I, I just want this one here. A bomb and a chest. I kind of want the chest here a bit. Black hole. Don't know what that really does. I guess, yeah. It feels like it's just uh, pulling me towards it. I was either going to guess that or it was going to be a... Uh, it would like eat my attacks or something. Boom. Per trait I have. That one for the bosses is really good. This is plus one armor. Fifty percent critical hit multiplier. What's mine do? Twenty five percent increased fire damage. No. The armor is nice. Oh my god, man. Really stuck between. Do I really need this mana thing? Mm. Mm. I think we start stacking the skull ring. As much as it's going it's gonna like pain me. I think, uh, bosses is our biggest, like, fear. Magic attack speed. That's nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of the peg leg. I think Petrified Horde, I want to say, gives you more gold. But... I can easily see myself being wrong about that. I don't know if uh, which one's better. A lot of strength in there. Glaive. Fucking war. I've only seen a glaive in Warframe. I don't see many other games have that. Is this already max level? Yeah, this is max level. We could just get a bomb. We need to start using bombs for damage here too. This should be a tune now, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, offhand could potentially be good. Possessed weapon. Lord have mercy. Ow. I can't see. Damn, I already got my rest. Fuck, man. 
That sucks. That was only floor 7, by the way, too. Jesus. The damage does feel good, but, uh, man, I just gotta get better at dodging. It's as simple as that. Maybe I can get a potion that increases my res, too. We need to uh, stop, like, sleeping on those as an option. But bosses are going to be the, the real kicker. Can't get to that tavern. I think we'll take that. This isn't... That's not going to be giving us anything. Our weapon's already maxed out. I guess I shouldn't sleep on potions because they will just make a difference. Typically I would save them, but it feels uh, like way too nice. Okay. Do, 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 do. Fucking Oktoberfest. God help us all. I want to start re-rolling. Do... That's the thing, if we're taking a sustained fight, it's not good. It's not. And it's Cerberus. Oh my god. What thorns. Please end this phase. What the hell? You just charged right at me? Oh god, we are poisoned too. Okay, drink this. The Hand of Blood. Melee weapons inflict bleed. Okay, yeah. I never noticed it was 811 too. Mm. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't sleep on the shrine buffs either. A Dragon Slayer chest is something I kind of want.
Even though our main build right now is just like fire and stuff. Hellslingers, wow. What a pile of shit. The Death Beam, Frozen Orb Wand, it has S scaling on it. This has S scaling on it too. Definitely not gonna be the scroll. Flix Doom. But this has like massive AoE, doesn't it? Yeah, this has like massive AoE. We need some healing though. As soon as we need to dash or uh, go backwards, I in I instantly just dash because uh, usually we're just gonna run into something. These things are not doing anything for us. Buying items would be really nice. What does this do? Plus one luck? No. No, I don't think I will. Minus ten gold found, absolutely. Um, don't really need a weapon anymore. Body armor could be good. Battery enchanted. Still don't know what that means. Please, lordy. Absolutely. Balrog's skin. Balrog skin. If that gives us plus three hearts. That's really good. Only thing I'm still scared of though is for the actual boss. What hit me? Ten rooms, absolutely. Can't get that tavern either, oh my god. Our level's max. Um, this has an S on scaling, so it's more. I'm actually going to skip the Mage Sash. We'll go here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, thanks game. You can buy health even though it won't do anything. Okay. Mortar enchanted. Jesus. I can't see like half of them, man. These guys don't fucking go away either. My god, man. Oh, I put this on, uh, you're gonna say random panda buff whenever you enter a room. Oh, is that the Baru reference there? I used to watch so much of them, too. Yeah, I thought that this was two and not on three, also. Oh, god. Well, Jesus, man. Alright. Cinder 12. That was ludicrous. Got the achievement unlocked too. What is it called? Uh, danger zone. Lord have mercy, man. That was. Yeah, that was tough too. Um. So this one's deprived. So we'll go ahead and do a doppelganger run after this too on zero. And then we'll attempt our uh, Cinder 16 with our Ranger. And that's what we'll probably just like repeat doing. I want to say the Ranger's like one of my best characters, but we don't know, man. We don't know.